بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 015 grammar unit 3 lesson 2 using a an the some any much and many the learning objectives by the end of this lesson you will be able to use a an and some appropriately use some and any with countable and uncountable nouns use the appropriately Use many and much with countable and uncountable nouns. Using a, an, and some. Use a or an in front of singular countable nouns. We, so we use a or an with singular countable nouns. Examples. She has a letter in her mailbox. Notice here that the word letter is a singular countable noun so it is preceded by a so we use a with singular countable nouns another example i would like an apple the word apple is a singular countable noun and it starts with the vowel a so we use an so we use an with singular countable nouns that start with a vowel use some in front of plural countable nouns so we use the word some with the plural countable nouns. Examples. She has some letters in her mailbox. So she has some letters. The word letters here is a plural countable noun. So we use some with plural countable nouns. I would like some apples. Again, the word apples is a plural countable noun. So we use some with plural countable nouns. Use some in front of uncountable nouns. So the word some also can be used with uncountable nouns. Examples. I have some rice. The word rice is uncountable noun. So some can be also used with uncountable nouns. Another example. She would like some food. The word food is uncountable noun. So the word some is also can be used with uncountable nouns. Use some in affirmative statements. Remember that the word some is used with affirmative statements, not negative statements, but in affirmative statements. Examples, I have some money. This sentence is affirmative. He needs some help. Again, this sentence is also affirmative. So the word some is used in affirmative statements. Use any in negative statements. So in negative statements, we use the word any. Any is used with both plural countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Examples. I don't have any money. Notice that this sentence is negative. So we use the word any. Another example. I don't have any assignments to do. Again, this sentence is negative. So we use any with negative statements. Okay, with negative statements. Use either some or any in questions. So in questions, we use either some or any. Examples. Do you have some money? This is a question. Okay, we start with the verb. This is a question. So we use some or we use any. Do you have any money? So in questions, you can use either some or any. Either some or any. Using the. Use the when you talk about a particular thing or person. With a particular thing or person. Or when it is clear which person or thing you mean. The shows that a noun is specific. Examples. Which book do you want? Look at the books here. Which book do you want? I want the red book. I want the red book book here you are talking about a particular book so you have to use the i want the red book we are talking about a particular book where's your sister look at the picture here where's your sister she's in the kitchen here we are talking about a particular kitchen the sky is blue here there is only one sky to think of so we use the before the word sky the sun is hot again there is only one sun to think of so we use the before the word sun 
use the for the second mention of a noun so when you mention a noun for a second time you have to use the word the before this noun when the speaker mentions a noun for a second time both the speaker and the listener are now thinking about the same thing here again we are talking about a specific noun examples I have a pen the pen is blue notice here this is the second time we mention the word pen this is the first time and this is the second time so in the second time the noun must be preceded by the definite article the another example my father bought a car the car is expensive again the word car here is mentioned for a second time so it must be preceded by the definite article the another example Abraham lives in a building the building is big so this is the second time we mention the word building so again it must be preceded by the definite article the using many and much use many with plural countable nouns so we use the word many with the plural countable nouns examples my friend has many highlighter pens here this is a plural countable noun so we use many with plural countable nouns use much with uncountable nouns so we use the word much with uncountable nouns examples we don't have much money notice here that the word money is uncountable noun this is an uncountable noun so we use much with uncountable nouns thank you for listening